going to tell you where the money went. In hearing after hearing in the House and Senate Banking Committee, it's happened hundreds of times now. Two years ago, it was big news when they do it. A year ago, it was still big news. Now we've again been conditioned that just, well, some crooks in suits all mobbed up. They just tell us they won't you know, get into where the money went. And in case you think it's a partisan issue, it's not. Remember the $2 trillion missing the day before the World Trade Centers got blown up? Associated Press, uh, you know, headline, $2 trillion missing from Pentagon. By the time they had congressional hearings in 2005, it was four plus trillion, and the word is now it's over seven trillion. And some people then send me emails; they don't look up the news article to find out I'm telling them the truth, or the congressional hearings that are on uh, YouTube. Uh, they uh, you can just type in trillions missing from Pentagon into YouTube, uh, Google. You'll you'll get articles, video clips, hearings about it. Uh, people just say it's not true. They say, oh, the bowl, the whole defense budget's only a trillion a year. How could they be stealing trillions a year? They stole the Pentagon pension fund investments. And that came out 10 years ago, even ahead of 9-11. And it's now come out last year in Bloomberg and AP and Reuters. Just, oh, Prudential and other insurance carriers 11 years ago in 99 made deals to take veterans' death benefits when they die. The money's all gone. Your Social Security's gone. The death benefits, the health care. You're going to get euthanasia, death panels in its place. But not before they trick you and say, get behind raising taxes and you'll still get your handouts. You're not going to get the money you put in. You got it? You're not going to get any of it. You're going to get a boot stomping on your face. We don't throw this mafia out. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Diamond Gusset is proud to announce the anthem of the Patriot Movement. They're offering a free CD, T-shirt, and bumper sticker with a qualifying purchase. Diamond Gusset offers great products at great prices while keeping Americans I'm working. looking for a factory where a man can feed his family. Not worried about them moving it south. Closing the doors and shutting her down tomorrow. I'm looking for America. Wear American and be proud. Go to gusset.com forward slash America. The land of the free and the home of the brave. Seems like I just woke up one day and it was gone. Long gone. But I know in my heart it's still Again, go to gusset.com. Forward slash America today. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions, yet many are unaware of the entire function of the Silver Lungs System and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lung System produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, it also comes equipped with the proper applicators and devices needed to deliver your silver solutions directly to key target areas. This includes the eyes, ears, nose, lungs, topically to the skin, and orally for the digestive system. Be sure to watch our new 7-minute video tour of the Silver Lung System at www.silverlungs.com to learn more about how the Silver Lung System works. As well, we are always ready to answer any questions you may have. That's www.silverlungs.com.
We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Yes, the empire is on the run, but it's in its dangerous, frothing death throes of flailing around right now. And the question is, can we salvage any of the republic uh, during this process, or are they, are the criminals fully aware of what they've done in stealing everything, even nailed down, uh, going to be able to put a high-tech police state in place uh, to further suck us dry? So uh, getting back to the open mafia system in front of us, you know, almost every other nation on Earth has a tiny, rich elite and a giant uh, underclass. You look at Mexico, you look at Argentina, you look at Brazil, you look at Eastern Europe, you look at many areas of Asia, Africa. And Americans always laugh. Uh, oh, look at the foreigners. They're so corrupt. You know, they've got cops with machine guns on the streets uh, in uh, Brazil or Mexico or Nigeria or Eastern Europe. Oh, look at them. Their government devalues their currency. You know, those folks in Mexico, they just can't figure it out. Well, the United States isn't perfect, but the mainstream media spends a lot of time demonizing what was America, what did work with America, because they don't want you to know the antidote to their poison. They want to try to discredit things that are common sense and we know work. How did 5% of the world population get roughly half the world's wealth? How do we do that? We had more liberty, more freedom than other countries. That's why. Geographically, not a very big country compared to many. Uh, doesn't have the resources of even a Mexico uh, or a Nigeria. Did you know Nigeria overall has more resources in major Encyclopedia Britannica breakdowns uh, than the United States? You know Mexico has triple, roughly, whether it's gold, oil, timber, fertile fields, volcanic soil. A to Z, Mexico's got roughly triple the resources. Natural gas, fisheries, they got everything. You go down there and you get outside the tourist traps, looks like a bomb hit that place. Sewage running down the street, little kids running around, police bugging their eyes out at you, the public scared of the police. That's called a martial law banana boat republic. We know what it looks like. Now, America is becoming the strip mall version of that. See, the globalists, it's not just that they don't care and will steal everything and destroy a society. They want to. They want to destroy the old republic. They want to claim that our empire fell when really it's just going to fall into the hands of the IMF and World Bank. So they've got all these historians now predicting the fall of the American empire, the end of the empire. Quite frankly, if this empire was run properly, it'd probably never fall because of the high-tech grids that are in place. They want it to fall. It's designed to fall, fall right on top of those other sovereign nations, fall right on top of what's left of our country, fall right on top of what's left of this country's reputation. So the issue here is people shouldn't make fun of third world countries. They never had our founders. They never had a Bill of Rights. They never had a Constitution. Almost every time other nations have had revolutions, even if it was a good military leader who overthrew the dictator, that guy would get knocked off. You know, the person who tried to bring in a republic, who tried to bring in a parliament or a legislature, a Congress, people would gather around within the Congress and decide to overthrow the whole country for themselves so they could steal all the goods. But we actually had founders who were different. They weren't perfect, but they were supermen compared to what every other country's had. Supermen. They make the Greek uh, system at its height look barbaric and police state. It makes all other supposed free societies look like a joke. And it's all slipping away. It's all burning away. It's all going the way of the Goonie Bird. The dodo bird, the coelacanth, and I don't like that. I don't want to be a slave. I know what new world order globalism means. It means I'm a high-tech slave, 
in a global system run by people who are stated open eugenicists and who on record say they want to forcibly reduce our population. And I watch the sperm counts drop by 87 percent. I watch infertility in women skyrocket. I watch diabetes and cancer and Alzheimer's and arthritis. The list goes on and on. Every disease you can imagine off the charts. And then I look at all the government's own studies. They know full well what they're doing. But like children, the average person, including bureaucrats and government, are compartmentalized, don't have the knowledge. And even when they come face to face with the facts, it's easier to just say, oh, that guy is a conspiracy theorist. Emma, is it a conspiracy theory that over four trillion is missing from the Pentagon? Is it a conspiracy theory that we have a mafia running the country? who openly gives over 500, last time I checked, it's hundreds a month, uh, exemptions to mobbed up companies so they don't have to get health care for their employees, but you do, I do. Is that a conspiracy theory? Is it a conspiracy theory that four and a half thousand children were publicly, uh, it's been declassified as public information, radiated to death. I mean, I know I talk about that all the time. It's just one of the more well-known ones of thousands of cases. So I, I mentioned what's known, nerve-gassing our own trips. I, I mean, we're not in Kansas anymore. We're really not. And, and I'm not here risking my life uh, if I didn't think we had a good chance of beating these people. It's outrageous. It's cartoonish what they're doing. It's absurd. It's out in the open. It's brazen. And I'm sick of it. Here's an example of why societies can't ever get it together. Folks in Pakistan are highly intelligent in their IQ test, as smart as anybody in Europe or Japan. Highest IQs, ancient culture, ancient language, but they've been corrupt forever. And so their giant population, what is Pakistan? Its population, is it 100 million or, or more? Pull up the Pakistan population for me, please. I know Nigeria is like 300 million in Africa, but a powerful Pakistani governor killed by own guard. There's an example. And whether this governor was a good guy or a bad guy, you know, the issue is that's what Banana Republic is all about. 170 million. Powerful Pakistani governor killed by own guard. The governor of Pakistan's wealthiest and most populous province was shot dead in the capital today by one of his own guards who later told interrogators that he was angry about the politician's stance against the country's blasphemy law, officials said. Yeah, sure. And I'm sure that that former top Bush advisor uh, probably fell and hit his head and fell in a trash can and got and ended up in the dump. And I'm sure the mob family, the dailies, are going to save us because they're such good people. Uh, they're in the Commerce Department. They'll make sure we get jobs. I mean, why not hire, uh, you know, one of the guys from Central Casting of the Goodfellas? What, I'm funny like a clown? But here it is. Obama is said to consider naming J.P. Morgan's daily to top White House post. And he's the former head of the Commerce Department. President Barack Obama is considering naming William Daly, a J.P. Morgan Chase & Co. executive. Can we have anybody in the government who isn't J.P. Morgan Chase or Goldman Sachs? I mean, most of the third world countries that are being looted are run by Goldman Sachs or J.P. Morgan alumni. I mean, they just run everything. There's your problem right there. A bunch of insider trading swindlers. And the Congress has been gelded.